Coco channel and to the what's in my bag tag. I literally haven't done this since I started YouTube in 2014, I believe, was one of my very first videos was what's in my bag. And so I just got a new purse and so I thought I would show you guys what's in my bag. Now, typically, you know what I mean, the fun about what's in my bag is like finding all the crazy stuff that's in there. So I literally just transferred over my wallet and then whatever was in my other purse I put in here. I didn't, you know what I mean, change anything up so we could still kind of discover together. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my bag. This is a Kate Spade Margot and this is the racing stripe. Um... Cameron Street Racing Stripe, I believe is the name of the bag. Uh, and so this is what she looks like. The color is Clock Tower and White Rose, I think. Um, sorry, I should know all of this, but I don't. Um, so anyways, this is the outside of the bag. And it is a crossbody, which I love. If you missed me hauling this bag not too long ago, I will link it down below. And guess what? I'm in the same exact outfit. I'm literally filming these back to back. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. The only thing about this is that it doesn't open very wide. Like I wish it went down a little bit further so you can like really open her up. But at the same time, you're not supposed to be handling this bag like that because this bag's expensive. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in this front pocket right here, I have my telefono. This is a Galaxy S6. It's not the Edge. It's just an S6 and this is my cute little case, which of course is floral. My screensaver is floral <sighs> Learn floral. Um, so it's super cute. I love this case so much um And then in the other pocket right next to where my phone was I have a pack of gum This is the orbit sweet mint. I like the sweeter ones rather than like the really spicy like peppermints and stuff um Let's get into, I don't have anything in this zipper part yet, I don't think. Oh, correction, there's a tag in there. It's my care card. Um, okay, so let's jump into bags. So I am the type where I put my Ipsy bags to use. And so here is one. And I have all of my membership cards in here because I have so many. I don't like to keep them in my wallet. So you can tell which ones are most important. I haven't gotten my Rouge one and it's really making me mad because I hit Rouge back last year in November, December, and they haven't sent it to me. So yeah, anyways, that's what I have in there. And I do have some like feminine care products in here because I like to hide them, just so you guys know. Okay, so this is my coin purse. This is another thing that I don't like to keep in my wallet because I'm really bad about closing zippers on wallets and so when I go to get it out like they all fall on the floor so I decided that I need I, my own little coin purse. This is by the brand Ann Tainter and so it says frugal is such an ugly word. Seriously number one is floral and how cute is that? Love it. I have an emergency diaper kit in my purse. So it just has diapers and wipes in it for my son and some band-aids just in case you never know good mom girl scout um and then i have my wallet this is the lacy this is the lacy wallet by kate spade and it's not in the same pink as my purse like the little race stripe this is in the color posy pink and so um there's not anything exciting in here i mean i have no money oh i have a five dollar bill Look at that. And then obviously like all my cards, um, my IDs, military and driver's license, just um, insurance cards, stuff like that. There's nothing exciting in this wallet at all. I also have two pairs of sunglasses in here. These are Fossil sunglasses. Um, these are, I think, the Wayfarers, if I'm not mistaken. I've had them for a while now but these are my favorite sunglasses that I own and when I say that I mean like they are the most comfortable definitely like they're tied with the cutest ones that I own the other ones that I have are pretty dang cute but these are definitely the most comfortable these are more comfortable than the other pair so these are them I love these sunglasses so much they're so comfortable they never like dig in or anything love these 
The next pair of sunglasses quite aren't quite as comfortable as my um, fossil ones, and they're the Key ones, the Key Australia. So these ones are super cute, but they definitely aren't as comfortable as my fossil ones. They start digging in in a little, like after wearing them for a while, so I have to take them off, but they are so cute. I love big, like, cat eye sunglasses. I love these so much, but like I said, I can't wear them that long. But that is it for sunglasses. Now let's get into the good stuff. Um, so this is an Estee Lauder um, makeup bag and I have a ton of stuff in here. So I have two Victoria's Secret lip glosses which I know not everybody loves Victoria's Secret glosses because they're super thick and goopy but I really do like them. This one is my favorite and I don't even know if they make it anymore. If they did I need to go buy like eight more bottles because it's I think it's not cotton candy, I don't know what it is. Uh, this one is Sugar High, which is just a clear gloss. Um, I have a Bath & Body Works uh, pocket pack of the antibacterial, and this one is in Candy Cane Bliss. And I got the gold little holder, um, but there's no way in you know what I'm hanging this off of that bag. Not happening. And I didn't do it before either, I because I have spilled them before. Um, I have a Wet n Wild powder. This is the coverall. Um... And it's just a powder. I just use this to touch up. But before that, I always blot. And these are my blotting sheets. And it does have a little mirror. Um, I got this, I think, at... I think I got this at Forever 21, like, years ago. Um, I have a little nail kit um, to get any hangnails that I may have. or um, And then I have nail clippers. My uh, emery board broke. For those of you who don't know what an emery board is, it's a nail file. Uh, I have a moist towelette. Um, I have a lotion. This is by Previse, and this is the Hydro Milk. This stuff is expensive. I got this in a boxy charm. I want to say this stuff retails for like forty something dollars. Don't ask me why, but it does. Um, okay, the lands of lipsticks. So I have a Revlon HD. This is in Addiction. Yep, this is in Addiction. I have a Revlon Color. Burst Balm in Crush. Um, I have a Meat Matte Hughes in Committed. Little itty bitty baby. Um, I have a NYX Lingerie. And this one is in Ruffle Trim. I have a itty bitty little Lovecraft lipstick from Kat Von D. Um, and it's almost gone. Well, not really. But I use this thing all the time. And look at how much is still left. But this one stays in here, so I'm going to keep it. So I have a YSL lipstick. This is in 70, which I'm pretty sure this was the collector's one because it has, like, the little lipsticks or uh, lip prints on the side. I don't know what color this is. Bare, some nude. I don't know. Um, I have a Dolce & Gabbana lipstick. This is the Sophia Loren one, and I love this color. It's so pretty, and I love so Sophia Loren, too. She's an actress, if anyone was wondering. Um, I have another Meet Matt Hughes, and this is in Chivalrous. That needs to go in its home. I have my YSL Black Opium Perfume, like my purse one, and it's almost gone. I wish there was a way to refill this bad boy, because I so... <gasps> is there? Oh! Oh! Mm. Uh, I have a hand sanitizer, or yeah, hand sanitizer spray. Um, I use this when we go out to restaurants too to like wipe off like my son's high chair if they have one or like the table because I worked at a restaurant and you would be surprised what those rags have on them that they use to wipe them off. Um, and then I have two lip balms. One is a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer one and it has Bumble on it <laughs> and it's in the uh, watermelon flavor. And then I have another one. This is by Noya, and this is the cherry one. And this one actually has, like, little sugar particles in it, so it, like, exfoliates your lips. And then the last thing in here is some eye drops. You guys, my hair is on everything. So, some of the things are going back. Some need to go back in their homes. Back into the drawer. So all of these need to go back into their homes, all of these. And that is it. So that is it for the what's in my purse tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't done one in so long. It was so much fun. So if you're new, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the Coco 
YouTube channel, and I don't know what I'm doing this, but I think it's a thoughts on Thursday, you know? I don't know. <clears throat> I need to stop saying larv. That's such a dumb word. Stop saying larv. Uh, um, let's get into the fun stuff. This is my, oh no, don't do that yet. That I use to, whoo! <clears throat> Ew, I just spit. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a nail fire. Oh, nail fire. Now we're in lipstick. I have a Revlon Color Burst in Crush. What? You can take this off now? Does this come off though? That's the question. Oh lord. No. I wonder if you could spray it in there. I would sit there for 20 minutes and fill this thing up because it was so convenient to have in there. And it smells really good. Why did you just smell that? You were such a freak. Uh, and they want these ones are definitely as not. <laughs> what? These ones are as cute as that. Uh, oh my god, can you freaking talk? I feel like I need a new Jersey accent to wear these. That was a little bit more Boston. Um, 